tie rod. It's like major malfunction. All right, I think we got ourselves out of that messy situation. Yeah. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another adventure. Man, SoCal has been getting so much uh, rain so all the mountains is filled with snow. So going out to uh, up to the snow again, this time we're going to try and hit up uh, Big Bear. So meeting up with another YouTuber, Johnny Taco Outdoors. You guys uh, probably seen his channel. It has really good content when it comes to overlanding. So we've been wanting to uh, do s some collaboration for a while now. And uh, the original plan was actually to go overlanding, to go camping, but uh, my nephew's been wanting to go uh, see the snow, so I promised them that uh, I'll take them. So yeah, I was just going to do a day trip today, but uh, definitely in the near future, I definitely want to go like uh, camping with Johnny. But yeah, today we're just going to go explore and uh, just to do a day trip up there. We're going to try and go from Coxie Row, Coxie Trail, I think. Um, so I've done this trail before in a two-wheel drive. But it, with the snow, I, I don't know what kind of condition we'll be uh, experiencing. So it'll be fun, you know, just to see and explore and stuff like that and just have a fun day. So, yeah, I'm going to meet up with Johnny right now and then uh, get this day started, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys, met up with Johnny at Johnny Taco Outdoors. It's going to be about an hour and 18 minutes, we'll look at it, to our trailhead, Coxie Row, up to Big Bear. Yeah, so we'll see what kind of adventure we'll be having. All right, Johnny, what are we up to, man? How crazy will it get? What's up, Michael Clan subscribers? <laughs> We're gonna go on another adventure today. And uh, the trail's looking pretty busy. We're airing down the tires. What are these, a, uh, 35s, Dion? 35s, yeah. Yeah, nice. Should be a fun trip. I know, well, we'll see what kind of craziness we have encounter. I see a bunch of guys heading that way already. Yep. But, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right, bro. We're almost at the trailhead. It's already a dirt road, so there's Johnny's tacos outdoor with his tacos. My tacos are gonna air down, but man, it's it's really cold, <laughs> and uh, the trail is super rutted from all the recent rain. So it'll be interesting. I right, just air down and uh, get this adventure started. Go explore this little lake real quick, man. All dirty. <laughs> that was fun though. Splish splashing through the trail. How are you liking the uh, trail, Johnny? Beautiful. It's oh, fun. Snow. I know. It's so beautiful right now. 
I'm seeing a uh, fine goldfish. Yeah, there's a lot of water here, but I don't see any goldfish. <laughs> Johnny's getting that shot, the B row. Small traffic jam. We're following a group of about 15 like Toyota to Tacoma. Morning. Morning and it's almost two. And so we'll see. I think it's starting to get a little icy ahead. Not sure. Just give them room just in case. Uh, a little traffic jam. I think somebody. It's definitely getting a little icy for everyone. Tundra ahead. I have to reverse. Yeah, it's super icy right now. Oh shoot! It's super slick. Oh, everyone's sliding. Okay, I'm gonna back up, create some space because there's a weird little incline and Johnny is getting helped by somebody in the front. He just needs to pull up. He's getting pushed to the left. There's that other Tacoma right there. So, super slippery. So I'm gonna back up and then see if I can help dig or I don't know. Oh! 
That was really close. Hey, Jeep might help out. I think the stock tire is just... You guys can see how icy it is. Heading back down, hopefully meet up with Johnny, but I was about 50, 60 vehicles that went through here. No one had the patience to wait so that one vehicle gets stuck. So they all try and push it. So I'm gonna radio in with Johnny, see if we continue, because they all hit. So if we continue and somebody's stuck, we're just gonna be in the middle of the pack of everybody, especially all the Can-Ams, they're just, not very patient, they just want to go through. Definitely icy, gotta be careful. Traffic jam, a bunch of quads ahead, side by side. Oh, the forest is beautiful. <laughs> That's very true, Johnny. Very true. Oh, it's beautiful right now, but it's just too many people on the trail. It's a couple of side by side trying to go around, but it's supposed to be traffic up there. I'm not sure. We look in when you see any, so I try to make room for everybody. Supposedly there's a bunch of group coming down up this small little steep area. We're almost at the Big Flying Big Pine Flag Campground, so it's not that much more trail. But if it's, there's a group coming down and uh, us going up, it's gonna create a crazy situation. So I found a little spot right here to the left. Enjoying my PB and J while snow fall on us, but check out this abandoned forerunner. Arizona. That was California. But oh, definitely a little bit of oil. Or maybe we broke a spindle. Tie rod. It's like major malfunction. I can see why he abandoned it. Yeah, that's crazy. So we, the plan is we're gonna try to go to a little camping area, a little offshoot over there to set up and chill. Cause that has been a hectic day and it's almost three o'clock right now. All right. Go for it, bro. Get stuck. Oh, check that out. Hard to see among the trees, but that's Big Bear. Oh my goodness, see all the ski lope, uh, slope right there. That's crazy. So we got uh, trying to continue on here. So this is Big Pine Flat. We're actually technically on Holcomb Valley. 
Uh, we're trying to reach into maybe uh, Green Valley Lake area. It's a spot Johnny wants to see here. Uh, but yeah, and that way we can avoid Big Bear altogether. But man, what a day. What a day. Yeah, some deep water. All right, you guys, make sure you guys subscribe to the video, leave a comment below, and like it. We'll see you guys for the next video. My gosh, check it out. So I'm doing a little offshoot and we're pretty much blazing a trail here. But the view, that's amazing. Check where we at, man, my tires and wheels. Oh my gosh, it's caking, sheesh. Got my lower control arm. My skid plate is full of snow. But this little area we found, isn't that beautiful or what? That's crazy. <laughs> I have to pave the road right now. Uh, that sucks. We're almost at the end, and uh, I have to. Am I sliding off the 
trail? No, you're not. Yeah, just just go straight real quick. Hey guys, I just want to jump on here real quick just to uh, give you guys a little bit more information on what exactly happened. So as you can see, we're making our way down to the Green Valley Lake and we were doing good uh, until we reached an area where it was uh, no longer any tracks. So obviously no one's been there and the snow is pretty deep. I'd say it was at least about two feet of fresh snow. So we decided with Johnny uh, leading to with his 35 to uh, lead and just plow through the snow. And uh, we were doing pretty good for a mile or two, and we passed the Craft Flat family campground a little over that bridge, if you guys know that area. Um, so that's where things got a little bit uh, sketchy. So there was a little bit of an incline. He was trying to make his way up, uh, but there was some fresh uh, powder, obviously, but also icy condition underneath. And uh, I think he hooked the corner a little bit, trying to get an uh, angle to go up the incline. So what's happened is that uh, the... Uh, off camber was pushing him towards that ditch area and towards the cliff of the side of the mountain so yeah he was pretty much uh, stuck there he couldn't uh, anytime he try and go up it was just slowly uh you know off camber and pushing him towards uh, the side of the mountain so what we did is just we stopped everything um he tied him his truck to my truck as an anchor point and then from there, what we did is so we spent about, I would say about an hour, it seemed like forever, but roughly an hour of digging a path of fresh uh, snow. Uh, so as you can see, that'll take a lot of time to dig, but uh, yeah, a fresh track for him. And then we took out all our traction boards and put it underneath uh, all his tires and create a path for him. So pre pretty much we just created the path for him to get out that, uh, that ditch area that he was stuck in. So yeah, that ended up working and then he was able to slowly, slowly just uh, inching his way up and with my uh, truck being anchor point so, it doesn't, so that his truck doesn't fall towards the side of the cliff. But yeah, I uh, was surprised that that worked and uh, we were able to get himself, uh, his truck out of that uh, sketchy situation. Yeah, so we're out. Now I think we're just for safe safety, just go back the way we came because we know the trail already we don't know what's ahead and we have to plow through all that thick snow and there's another bang that's kind of like it's gonna give us a lot of issue i'm just hauling it now guys I'm trying to get back in time but man there's so much snow we're almost to uh holcomb creek Still have a long way to go after that. Woo! So we're taking a different route towards the Hannah Flat campground, but gosh, everything is so rutted out right now. So just gotta be careful, it's icy now too. So hopefully we can go down to Fonskin pretty soon. Johnny's leading. At least all this is packed down. Check this out, I'm trying to air up and uh, uh, it's all ice over. So we're gonna have to uh, get the torch and melt all this ice and get to the stem. But we made it down guys, this is, it's hard to see, but this is the actual road we're on. Well, I opened my camper and it smells like propane. So that was gnarly. Oh my gosh, I'm just walking around making sure nothing happened. Broken, but definitely got a, bunch of pinstripe so we'll see oh my gosh the suspension that was the gnarliest thing we've done had to grab it in now I couldn't air up at all the valve stem was frozen but now everything's melted so I'm airing up here got some dinner it's like almost 11 o'clock guys it's pretty late but 
things will melt it. Man, look at this. That's crazy. That's frozen solid. Things were flying underneath my truck. Everything is just melting right now. Got dinner. Late, late dinner is like what? Oh yeah, it's 11 o'clock right now. <laughs> but man, what a day. What a day. Someone enjoy this burger real quick. Uh, I don't even know what to say. It was really, really sketchy as you guys see. Few lesson learned, definitely. Uh, go with somebody. That was a must, especially when it comes to icy, snowy condition. The other thing is if somebody have a winch, that would be way better. And if your gut tell you to turn around, I think that's a good idea. I think that was my gut was telling me, but we were so close. And we figured if we plowed through a few, uh, you know, feet of snow, if we could see another path, then we'll go. But that's what happened, man. But uh, yeah, what a, what a crazy adventure. Yeah, the side by side, yeah, definitely tore off the trail. So yeah, if you guys uh, ever done Coxie, you guys know that trail, it's a bunch of side by side. But yeah, it's beautiful to see Big Bear, but man, lesson learned. And uh, definitely another lesson is uh, give, you give yourself more time than you think. And I think that's one of the biggest lessons. I thought I'm gonna be home around 5, 6 p.m. I'm gonna be pushing it to midnight right now. So this is what it is. It was fun, no one got hurt. That was the most important thing. We got ourselves out. I think it kind of teach us how to use our recovery gears as well, the proper way. So I'm glad that that worked out and we didn't have to spend like two crazy time you know uh out there so yeah all right hope you guys enjoy the episode all right johnny i'll leave his information john taco outdoors in the description really cool built to come on but uh yeah i was nice to be able to enjoy him i'll catch you guys on the next adventure i'm gonna enjoy this burger as my uh make my way home all right guys take care bye